there, orchestra students. Welcome back. Today we're looking at number 343, uh, Chester, the bottom of your page there, page number 30. So this piece uh, by William Billings, um, pretty popular piece. We usually play this piece, uh, or we used to play this piece pretty often uh, around the time of November when we have Veterans Day. Uh, it's more of a patriotic piece. Uh, and well, anyways, a little bit about this performance that you're going to be doing for your recording. There's a lot of slurs, eighth notes. Um, we have to a lot of playing on the G string. Um, and you have some retakes on the dotted after a dotted half note. I mean, it has a lot of different um, elements here that we've studied so far. So it's a pretty good combination uh, to get you prepared to play some more uh, difficult pieces. Um, let's go over just the first four measures real, real quick. Uh, we start with an open D. Um, we go to E to F sharp slurred. Now for violins and viola, that's first finger E yellow tape to the second finger F sharp. Or for cellos, one finger E to the three fingers F sharp. Then we go to G, that's fourth fingers uh, uh, cellos, three fingers violin viola to open D. Uh, so here's what that kind of looks like. Now remember that when a slur occurs, we're bowing between two of this uh, uh, two different pitches, but in the same bowing direction. <laughs> Now, make sure that in your recordings, you guys are differentiating between quarter notes and half notes. What I mean is that sometimes I'm hearing your recordings and you are rushing the quarter notes. They sound like the eighth notes or the eighth notes are rather slowed down and they sound like quarter notes. And sometimes the half notes aren't long enough, so they sound like quarter notes. And so the entire time it's you just playing this instead of uh, what you're supposed to play. <laughs> And so that's not really musical. That's just you going through the motions, okay? And that's not what's written there, rhythmically speaking, okay? So uh, measure three, we have uh, E to F sharp, or sorry, E to G slurred. So we got to be prepared for that. Uh, to an F sharp E slurred up bow, and then an open D string dotted half note. So here's a, a slow version of those first four measures right here. One, two, three, Four, long bow, up, up, down, long bow, up, long bow, one, two, up, up, open, two, three, lift. And then we're going to go to the next beat after that one beat of rest and a retake back to an open D on measure five. So what I just wanted to talk about was just making sure that you play everything rhythmically, all right? And you're focused not only on the pitches, but the rhythms as well and the bowings, okay? Uh, later on, on measure five and six, we have an open D, 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 quarter notes, up bow, D for that next measure six, down bow, E. And this is where we go with two eighth notes cross bowing between an open D string to a C on the G string and then to a B on the G string as well. So remember C on the G string is three fingers, violin, viola on the G string. Cellos, that's four fingers on the G string. And then B is two fingers, violins, viola, and uh, three fingers for the cello. So here's measure five and six, the very last two measures of the first line. Again, rhythmically, as well as the notes. One, two, three, four. So we have a half note, quarter, 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 eighth, eighth, quarter. Make sure we have that rhythm. You can tell the difference between the eighth notes and the quarter notes there. Uh, following that measure in the second line, measure seven, we're still on the, C, uh, the G string playing C, B, A, G. So going down all the fingerings uh, that we normally play for the uh, G string. So that's uh, four C cello, three B, one A, open G. And then measure seven is a first finger A on the G string as a dotted half note. For violins, viola, on the G string, we're going three C, two B, one A, open G, and then also one A on the G string, dotted half note. So here's uh, what measure seven and eight should look like and sound like. One, two, three, 
four. Lift. Okay. Notice I'm breaking all of this up into two measures at a time. This is how you should be practicing to get uh, certain rhythms and uh, pitches down, especially to work on the difficult things. Like for example, measure six, which I know some of y'all will have some trouble on, okay? Uh, we're, we're playing D, E, D, C, B, okay? Going on to measure nine, uh, we're going to a D half note, first finger E, quarter note, another quarter note E, up bow, open D, down bow E, up bow F sharp, and then we have another slur situation uh, where I have uh, G to open D, slurred as a down bow, then E to F sharp as an up bow, slurred to the next line, measured uh, 12, which is a dotted half note G, okay? Uh, now let's take a look at what those four measures sound like. This is measures nine through 12. So after the second time that we have a retake, one, Two, three, four. Lift. Okay. Again, making sure that all the notes are played accordingly, rhythmically correct. And then we go on to measure 13. After that last retake, we have a slur G, F sharp as a down bow, another slur E to open D, going down the D string essentially, uh, up bow. Then we play uh, measure 14, eighth notes. E, first finger, open D, then C, B, A. So that's going from cellos, uh, one, open, four, three, one, and then a open D, uh, that's for measure 14. For violins, violets, it's one, open, three, two, one, and then a fourth finger D on the G string. So on the orange tape or the fourth tape, okay? Um, so let's go over that measure real quick. Measure 13 and 14. One, two, three, four. Make sure that all our fingers are in place, not just following the tapes, but also the temperament, meaning listening to making sure that that finger sounds like it's in tune, okay? Like a melody you would hear with me playing. Um, then the last two measures, we have an open G, C, B, A, and then a G, all quarter notes with a dotted half note on the last measure. And this is all on the G string. So here is the last four measures, measures 13 to the end. One, two, Three, four. Off. And on the rest, you just lift off like you would a retake, but you're done playing. Okay, so here's what it's going to sound like. Um, when you play it at this logical tempo of 60 beats per minute from beginning to end. Um, I don't have time to finish the recording here, so watch my uh, response recordings. The first one you're gonna see is me playing at this 60 beats per minute. The next one you'll see is at the moderato tempo that's written in for Chester. Now, I would like you to try to play, try to play a little bit faster than Largo, but it's a good tempo to practice at to make sure that the fingers and the bow movements are solid. And again, work two measures at a time like we did in the video here and try to make, make then four measures at a time and then try to combine the whole thing uh, as one big piece. But please practice before you submit your recordings so that way you're well prepared um, and your recordings sound fantastic, okay? So listen to my responses and good luck on your recordings. One, two, three, four.
One, two, three, four. There you go. One, two, three, four. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm.